What's going on, everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Recently on the channel, we took a look at the Samsung Galaxy Tab S8, and I declared this the best Android tablet for gaming and emulation that you can pick up right now, at least in the United States, easily. And in that video, I mentioned that I was going to do a dedicated video on Samsung DeX with this tablet. So that's exactly what we're going to be taking a look at today. Basically, we're going to be able to take this tablet and turn it into a desktop PC. And it actually performs great for work, gaming, emulation, cloud gaming, and media playback. So basically, anything you want to do on a real desktop PC, we can do over here on the tablet using Samsung DeX. And on the Galaxy Tab line, we can actually enable Samsung DeX directly on the built-in screen. Now, it does work out great for travel, but personally, I like running DeX on a larger display. And just a heads up, you can do this wirelessly if you want to. They also make a Windows app that will allow you to connect over USB. But personally, I like having a wired connection from USB Type-C on the tablet to HDMI or DisplayPort, however you want to connect to an external display. That way, we have no latency, we can get full resolution and 60 Hz. Now, there's several adapters on the market. I'll leave some links in the description. You can go with a smaller adapter that has USB, HDMI out, and power in, or you could go with a dock like this. HDMI out, three USB 3.0 ports, power in, and Ethernet. That way we have more than enough ports to plug in different devices, like USB mice, keyboard, we could plug in a hard drive here, and with this dock we do get Ethernet, so cloud gaming is going to work out much better over a wired connection. In my opinion, the biggest reason the Tab S8 is the best Android tablet on the market right now is that CPU and obviously the software they're using here. Samsung does make some really great software when it comes to Android, but when it comes down to it, the specs they're using here with the Tab S8 does make it the most powerful tablet on the market right now, whether you get the base model S8, which we have here, the Plus Model S8, or the Ultra with the huge 14.6 inch display. They're all going to be utilizing the Snapdragon Gen 1 CPU, which is an absolute beast when it comes to Android gaming and emulation. With this one here, we've got 8 gigabytes of RAM, 128 gigabytes of storage, plus micro SD card support, and USB support if you want to add an external hard drive. If you're interested in checking out my initial review video, I'll leave a link for that in the description, but in this video, we're going to be turning the Galaxy Tab S8 into a desktop PC. Obviously, it's still going to be based on Android, but this is going to make for an awesome little work machine, emulation machine, gaming console, cloud gaming, and media playback device. Okay, so the first thing I wanted to show off here was ultra-wide display support, and this is actually really cool. Recently got my hands on an ultra-wide monitor. Now, it's not quite 4K, but uh, we're sitting at 3440 by 1440 and I've just got HDMI going to the dock over to the ultra-wide monitor, and within a few seconds, it'll show right up. Now, I've got this tablet already set up to automatically go to DeX on an external display, and we do have ultra-wide support. It looks really awesome, and I'll tell you what, there are some great Android games that actually scale up on this ultra-wide display really well. Like I mentioned, we're not quite at 4K, but if we take a look at the Samsung DeX resolution settings, it automatically defaulted to this resolution, 3440 by 1440 ultra-wide, and we can swap this out if we want to on the fly, but I'm going to leave it just like this. And we'll jump right into some gameplay. I've got Asphalt 9 downloaded from Google Play, and this is one of those games that does scale up really well on an ultra-wide display. I was actually surprised to see this, and a lot of the apps that I tested worked out just fine. By the way, using an Xbox controller connected to Bluetooth on the tablet itself. A lot of these native Android games do support controllers right out of the box, but you got to keep in mind that there are some that just won't work in DeX mode with a controller, like Genshin Impact. Unfortunately, we just don't have controller support for Android, and every time I've tried to use a third-party mapper, I can't get it to work with DeX or desktop mode in general, but if you mirror the screen over to the larger display, you can set up basically any apps you want. Now, I completely understand that not a lot of people are going to have an ultra-wide monitor, so I'm just going to move over to a 16x9 4K BenQ display. So I'd say this is my favorite way to use DeX. Now, of course, like I showed you at the beginning, we can use DeX directly on the built-in screen, but having this larger display just works out a lot better in my opinion. I've been searching around for different apps that work well with DeX, and I came across the Desktop Hub over on Google Play, but it hasn't been updated in a while. There's also a premium version, and I'm not sure if that one's been updated. But when I initially came across this, it looked really promising. We can set up custom resolutions, custom notifications, and everything like that for desktop mode or DeX. 
And one cool thing that this has built in is the ability to lock Bluetooth to either the desktop or the tablet or phone itself. Now this is actually cool because it'll lock it over on the desktop mode and we won't be able to use it on the tablet until we disable it or unplug the unit. But uh, I mean, something like this set up for web browsing does work out really, really well. The Tab S8 does have Wi-Fi 6 built in, so we've got really fast Wi-Fi speeds. And if you use a dock like the one I have here, we can actually just plug in Ethernet. It's going to all work over USB Type-C. There's nothing else we need to do except for plug it in. It'll detect it. And then you've got a wired connection to your tablet. But yeah, we've got plenty of power here with that Snapdragon Gen 1 for email checking, document editing, and web browsing. And this does handle 4K video playback quite well. So if I head over here to YouTube and find a 4K 60fps video to test out, we'll go full screen with it. I'll make sure we're at 4K. And by the way, this does support HDR. So we'll go and make sure we're at 4K 60. Super smooth playback. Now with that Snapdragon Gen 1, 4K video playback isn't going to be an issue from your favorite apps. And since we're using a Samsung tablet, it is certified Widevine Level 1, so all of our favorite streaming apps will get HD content. A lot of the cheaper tablets out there don't have Widevine built in, so uh, it's kind of video DRM. Unfortunately, on those, you'll only get SD, but with this, we've got Widevine Level 1, so we're good to go with video playback. And by the way, while we're using DeX over on the larger display, we can use the tablet in any way we'd like. We could play another video over here from a different app. We could run a game. It's really up to you. I personally love the way they've set decks up. But my favorite thing to do in desktop mode is play my favorite games, be it native Android games, emulators, or cloud gaming. Now, the only game that I can't get the scale up correctly is Minecraft on the larger display. We don't have an option to go full screen, but with games like Call of Duty Mobile, Apex Legends, PUBG, Dead Cells, all of them will utilize the full screen here. And with Call of Duty Mobile, I've got the HD content pack downloaded. We're at high settings here, and it's running at 60. I mean, this is a really smooth experience. I'm using an Xbox controller connected over Bluetooth, and we can play this on the big screen no problem at all. I've also tested this with Apex Legends and PUBG. I've got one more native Android game to show off here, Dead Cells, and from the settings we can actually go to 60 FPS in HD. Now of course going up to HD really doesn't make too much of a difference because it's kind of a pixel based game. I mean it does give us a little more clarity, but the best option here is setting it to 60 FPS and this tablet can handle it. So we've got a ton of great native Android games that we can play directly from Google Play, but uh, one thing I always like to do here is cloud gaming. I personally like Xbox Cloud Gaming, Game Streaming, Game Pass, whatever you want to call it. And right now I do have Ethernet plugged into the dock. Like I mentioned, there's nothing else we need to do here. As long as it's plugged into the tablet, it's going to detect it. Now we've got a wired connection. Personally, when it comes to cloud gaming, I like going wired with it. We can totally do it with this setup. So if you want to do Stadia, GeForce Now, or even just stream from your local PC, be it using Moonlight or Steam Link, this will work out great. The final thing I wanted to show off here was some big screen emulation. So we're going to go with PSP using the PPSSPP emulator. And when it comes to these emulators and Samsung DeX, I haven't run into any emulator that doesn't go full screen. Every single one that I've tested so far, we can go total full screen with it. And the way I've got this set up right now is Vulcan back in, 5x resolution, even the harder to emulate games are going to run great here. And when it comes to the easier to emulate stuff, you could even go up past 5x on the Snapdragon Gen 1. We've just got a lot of power here for emulation. Another one that I've had really good luck with on the Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 is PS2 emulation using Ether SX2. Here we have Gran Turismo 4 using the Vulcan backend at 3x resolution. And upscaling this game here really does make a huge difference, especially on a bigger display. I mean, this looks really good. So overall, I do think that there's a lot of people out there that could get away by using this as their only PC. Now with the Samsung Galaxy S line of phones, we also have Samsung DeX built in. You can use it wirelessly if you want to. They also have an app for Windows that'll allow you to just plug it into USB. 
But from what I've experienced, especially with gaming, the best way to go about this is HDMI. So use some type of adapter, or if your monitor already supports USB Type-C video in, you'll just need to plug it in right there. But I mean, if you want to get work done wirelessly, I don't see a reason why it wouldn't work out well, or using that Windows app. But when it comes to the Galaxy Tab line from the S6 up to the S8, we can do this all on the built-in screen. Now, I know some people out there might not want to plug this into a larger display, but with it on the built-in screen, you can use a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse and have that full desktop mode right here. And I've always been a big fan of Samsung DeX, and now we're seeing other manufacturers get a desktop mode out there, like Motorola's Ready4, not a great name, but it works great. Lenovo has their PC mode, and Huawei also has something else that I personally haven't tested yet. So there are other options out there, but for this video, I wanted to show it running on the Samsung Galaxy Tab S8, which in my opinion is the best Android tablet you can get right now, especially if you can pick it up for much cheaper refurbished on eBay or Amazon. But that's going to wrap it up for this video. If you're interested in picking one of these tablets up, or if you already have one, I will leave some links in the description to the tablet and adapters I used. If you've got one and haven't tested out Samsung DeX yet, I highly recommend giving it a try. If you have any questions or you want to see anything else running in DeX mode, let me know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.